Uh, my name is Justin Verlander. I'm a, a starting pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. I uh, started playing baseball. I was five years old, and my parents took me to uh, tryouts for Little League and uh, came out there, had a great time, made the team, and, uh, you know, I was just fell in love with the game from then on. Uh, just always had a blast playing baseball. Yeah, you know, I'd definitely say my father uh, specifically. Uh, you know, he was kind of the uh, <laughs> the one that would get me off the sofa. I was kind of a lazy kid, like to watch TV a lot. He would he would drag me out there, there in practice and uh, made sure I was doing the things I needed to do to be uh, prepared to play baseball because he knew I had something special. Yeah, in high school, well, I played a little bit in middle school of soccer. I uh, quickly realized I wasn't very good at that. So in high school, it was mainly basketball and baseball. I uh, played all four years of both. I was a, I was a three guard in basketball. I uh, <clears throat> two years of JV, one two years of varsity, and I was just okay. <laughs> well, I went to school. I went to Old Dominion University. I was a communications major, so my goal was uh, I, I love sports. I was a uh, uh, sports management minor, so I, I knew I wanted to do something in athletics. If I didn't make it in baseball, my fallback plan was to. Uh, either be uh, behind the scenes doing uh, commentary for something, uh, something uh, behind the behind the scenes, or or who knows? You know, I just know I like sports, I like baseball, and I wanted to be involved somehow. Just trust in your ability, trust in yourself. There's been times where um, <clears throat> you know it's easy to get down or, or or be upset, and I think things just get worse when that happens. You need to really go out there and, and have the mentality that you know. You're the best. Uh, you have you have the ability to to do what you want to do. Which in my case, I have the ability to go out there and trust my stuff and get guys out at the major league level. Uh, I think it applies for anything in life, really, but especially out here. Uh, when you believe in yourself, uh, it's amazing what can happen. My toughest challenge uh, by far was my third year, uh, my junior year of uh, major league baseball. <clears throat> uh, I had a really tough year. I, I went 11 and 17. I, I came out of the season. I, I think I went one and seven or one and eight right out of the gate. My stuff just wasn't as good. Um, but coming into that offseason after that year, I worked that much harder and and really still believed in, in my ability and in my talents, which was tough for me to do. You know, I just had to say, okay, you know, I know I can do this. Let's work hard, see what can happen. And the next year, I had the best year of my career because of because of believing in myself and and uh, and, and giving myself that fire to, to work all the all the much harder. I got a couple of them. I would say one being uh, the no hitter. Uh, uh, that was something that was pretty surreal to me. Uh, you know, it, I have a pretty specific memory of, of, of uh, certain events that happened that game, and that was an awesome experience. Um, and then two would be pitching the first game of the World Series in my rookie year. That's something that as a kid, you know, talking about when I first played the game of baseball, here I am at five years old and, you know, we all had this vivid imagination and I'm, I, you know, I'm playing catch with my dad or something and, you know, here we are, game one of the World Series, first pitch, you know, I'm just imagining this stuff in my head and then, you know, you fast forward 18 years and, and here I am actually doing it, which was, which was very neat. I don't know if, if, if I would have made it as far as I did without just having fun and believing in myself. Um, you know, I, I didn't really make a big leap forward until college. Uh, I went from my high school year to, to my freshman year of college and then had a drastic change in my body and just matured later than everybody else. So you never know. Everybody's a little bit different. So don't get discouraged if somebody's better than you at a young age. You never know what can happen. Off of the field, um, you know, I, I'm really proud of some of the things I do uh, as far as uh, charitable donations. Uh, I give some money to cancer research. Uh, my grandmother, unfortunately, passed away of breast, ca breast, breast cancer, and my aunt uh, has recently been afflicted by it. So, uh, you know, I, I'm proud to say that hopefully I'm helping to, to fight cancer. Um, and also, I'm a big uh, dog lover. Uh, you know, give money to the uh, uh, SPCA and help support, uh, especially around Michigan and stuff. So, uh, those are a couple things that I, that I like to, to give, uh, give money to for a good cause. Well, in my training regimen, I, I use fighting as a recovery tool for me. Uh, I feel like from one start to the next, it really helps me uh, feel better. Um, you know, my arm feels better, my body feels better. So that's why I continue to wear the necklace because for me to go out there and win games every fifth day, uh, I, have to, I have to train hard. And besides that, I have to use every possible tool that I can to, to help my, my body feel better. And I, I feel like fighting is one of those tools.
And one word fighting would be strength. Um, you know, for me, uh, the main goal for me from start to start is to recover as fast as I can. And I really feel like wearing the necklace for me helps that process. It, it, it speeds up the process so that I can be as strong as I possibly can from one start to the next. And, and that's key for me as a pitcher, going out there feeling good and, and being able to win baseball games. And, and I think uh, wearing the fighting necklace for me helps that.